7.20, Sunday the 15th of July. Normally when I come out, I come out for a couple of mornings, uh, a couple of hours on a Saturday or Sunday morning, but today, uh, my other half is uh, out for the day, so I can get in a full day's detecting. It's not the best weather. It's only five degrees Celsius, and it's still pretty chilly at the moment, uh, but there is a really blowy wind at the minute. It's making it very cold. The sun's just coming up over there at the minute, so I'm hoping it's going to get a bit warmer, but I've got a flask of tea with me. Uh, I've got spare batteries for the detector and I've got four spare GoPro batteries so let's have a go today and see what we can find hopefully we'll find quite a few targets right I'm going to get set up and hopefully I'll be back soon with the first uh, signal well we just had what looks to be an earring um, <clears throat> I'm just going to find the brush and give it a bit of a clean up that's a good start um, where is my brush in my pocket. Right, give me two seconds, I'll give it a brush off. There it is. Um, don't know if that's silver or anything. It's a cracking signal. <coughs> so anyway, I'll get that in the tin. And uh, I'll recheck the hole because there was another signal there, but I think it's a piece of brass. But anyway, good start. Right, on we go. Now that is what you call a cut. So I'm going to run along the front of here, <coughs> see if anything's been washed out of this bank, but that looks really interesting. Right, let's see what we can get. Well, I don't know if you can see that laying there. It's a penny. Right, we'll have that. Hopefully that's a sign of good things. Right, let me just get that, hold on. Right, just laying on the top. And it's an old one. Uh, I can't see the date. a bit dark. Oh, 82. So that's not too bad. Right, we'll get that in the pot and we'll run along. Hopefully that means there's a few coins just been washed out of this cup. Right, on we go. Hopefully signs of a good hunt. I've got the feeling it's going to be a good day. You see that there? Very old green two piece. So, so far, that's been both coins on the top, not even dug. So, I'm hoping that uh, there's been a good wash out of this bank. And we can get a few more. But, yeah, that's looking really encouraging. Um, I can't see any more, but right, let's continue on. Well, I had a signal, I went to put my shovel in the dig, but laying on the top, again, is another coin. Five pence, modern five pence. So they, all the coins seem to be just laying on the top, so they've all definitely been washed out. So I think we're going to have a good day today. They could be, by the end of the day, if I'm here all day, quite a few coins in the pot. We're still... And the earrings got stuck in the back. Still got a day to go. I've only literally just started. Right, hopefully back with another signal. Well, another target, another coin. See what that one is. Quite badly corroded. So, okay. Anyway, that was just literally under the surface. That one. But right, we carry on. Well, I've just had that, which looks like a button, but I'm not sure. So anyway, we we'll carry on. Let's see what else is coming out of this cup. But it seems to be loads of stuff. Well, <coughs> we're in again. Just laying on the top of the. Sand, and that's a sixpence from uh, 1955. Just washed out the bank laying on the top. Oh, this is going to be a good day today. 
1955 just on the top of the sand right <clears throat> on to the next target well I had my other coin about there and then I had a signal up there under a load of seaweed which I've dug uh, it's been hard to find it but <clears throat> we've got another coin another sixpence uh, hang on, I'll have to brush that up, see if I can get date off it, hold on. Well we had a 55, we now got a 56. So, that was hard to find though, because the signal disappeared. But we're doing alright. Okay, on to the very next target. Right, we've got a couple of signals here, so I thought it would be live dig time. Just find this one. out saying it's in here uh, I'm not seeing anything coin like at all okay back with the detector again Yep. Yep. Here. Right. Right, we got it. Right, it's on the end here somewhere. Ah. That. Oh, ah, I've dropped it. I can't see where it's gone. <laughs> Hang on. Uh, is that it? Yeah, that's it. Uh, just a piece of um, brass by the looks of it. Yep. Okay, well, that's the first target. It's always the same when you do live digs, isn't it? Well, that's the first target. And then I had a target right up underneath the bank here. I've scraped it out. And it's saying it's there. So, let's have a look and see what we got here. Right, there's me uh, one from under the bank. So I don't know what that is. But, uh, anyway, on we go. Well, the next find appears to be some sort of tag. Give me five minutes to uh, clean that up and see if we can read what it says. Well, it says... Uh, Liverpool Insurance Society, then it's got a number on it, Holborn Viaduct London. And then it mentions about the police and return to owner and it's got like a phone number on it. So I'm going to look that up. That's, um, yeah, that's interesting. We'll follow that up and see exactly what that would have been on. It's got a number on there as well, so it's probably saying it's got stolen, dumped on the beach at some point. Okay, on we go. God, we're having a good day today. And, uh, yeah, it's still quite early. Right, on to the next target. Well, I had a lump of crud. I've just pulled it apart. It looks like there's a button in there. But we'll have to clean that up when we get back in the acid bath and see what we're going. But what a great day. And uh, I've got all day as well, so no rush. I can even stop for a cuppa in a little bit. Right, on we go. Right, we're in again. Uh, see it? <coughs> Another modern penny. Well, I say modern. No, it's an older one. This is... 1978 again. Again, just laying on the top. This is really good. Um, 
I'm sort of eyeballing as I go to see if I can see any more just to show you but I've still got quite a bit of the cut left to do so anyway on we go see what else we can get well I had a signal rake back some seaweed and if we go in again uh, another coin just laying on the top what's this one this time another five pence piece so right a mixed bag this morning but as you can see coming together nicely right on to the next and again they're all on the top I'm hardly having to dig any so I've got a little bit still to go down here to about there then I'm going to turn around and come back down here a bit further see what's been washed out right on we go I was missing about in that hole there and had a lump of um, lead I then flipped out some rubbish here with a good solid signal and out came a coin 1979 old fashioned 5p that's a big 5p so that's good right so we'll carry on along here see what else is lying about but yeah seems to be targets everywhere which is great okay on we go right well it might be live dig it might not I've got a target here cracking target just under this seaweed let's go and have a look uh, uh, can't see anything oh hang on I'm not seeing anything there Oh, what's going on with my camera? It keeps switching off. Oh, look at that. 1950 GR6. Perfect. Definitely take that. Right, let's continue on. I did actually have to dig for that one. Came out of the hole there. Right, okay, let's continue on see what else we can get. Well, I had a target here actually in the sand, had to dig down a bit, and uh, here I've got what looks like a coin. Oh, it is a uh, modern one penny. That's alright, we're still going, so we're still finding. We've still got uh, a bit of the cut to do as well, but you know, considering quite a nice batch of coins. Right, we're in again, but I really need to change out my GoPro battery. <coughs> Another penny. So, right, we'll take that, and then I'm going to have to find somewhere to do my battery in a minute, because we'll keep cutting out. Very green coin just come to light here. Hardly anything left of it. So, definitely one for the acid bath, that one. Right, on to the next. Right, we're in again. Just had another five pence piece, uh, just down here. Um, still running along the cut. I haven't got much more to go yet, but we're getting there. So right, into the pot and we carry on. Oh, I just had one of them lead discs I've had from here before. I think they used to be a coin. I can't see any detail on it at all. Okay, into the pouch, onto the next one. I uh, just had another one of them things that used to be a coin. So. But nothing on it at all. Okay, we'll crack on, see what else we can get. I'm still running along the edge of the uh, cut. It's loads of targets, but at the moment, no. and yet another coin disc. So, okay, on to the next target. Yeah, yet another disc. So, this far end of the beach seems to be just these discs that used to be coins. But anyway, we're getting quite a nice uh, pot of coins. So, let's continue on, see what else we can get. Well, we're in again. Another penny. Uh, 1974. That's not too bad. Right, on to the next. Well, I just had uh, some sort of strap. I don't know what that is. But, uh, anyway, we'll carry on. But, yeah, different stuff, so that's good. Right, on to the next. Right, just had a big old coin. 
Uh, that's an old 2p. That's not too bad. Right, some poop going, so I'm going to get this in the pot and uh, get the camera and everything away. Right, right on we go. Uh, I've had these before in the past and I'm still none the wiser what they are. So, yeah, oh well. Look like roofing nails, but they're not. So, anyway, I'm running back along the uh, beach now, a bit further down, so we can get some more. Lovely big green coin just come out the hole. And I can't see what that is. But anyway, hold on. Right, well, go and get the cat along because I'm going to have some 11s. I just had to change the battery in the GoPro. <coughs> it was really playing up. So, anyway, I'm going to finish this, have a little bite to eat, cut the cup to tea, and then we'll crack on.